It's been a month, so of course, my data plan has expired on my phone. And I was planning on recharging it, and I'm going to show you a script for how you can do it. Now, the grammar might not be perfect because I wrote it this morning and I'm a little tired and I didn't cheat and use uh, Google Translate. I just winged this. And for the most part, I just wing it verbally, but I'm doing these scripts to help you so you don't have to worry about language issues. So this first line is really important. It says, I need to recharge my Claro plan. I go for just the data. That line will work either way. They'll ask you if that's all you tell them. I tell them what my Claro phone number is. And then I tell them below that, I only want data for the internet, 30 days and 80 gigabyte. And then of course I say the most important magical word, please feel free to borrow this or ask me questions either in the comments or contact me directly if you're curious. As I alluded to, I was thinking about recharging but I've been noticing that people on the bus often have connections when I don't. So I believe I'm going to try Tigo. There's also Voom and Movie Star. Movie Star is usually about equivalent to Claro or a bit slower. And I have heard rumors that both Voom and Tigo are faster, but I've heard more good things about Tigo. And I have used Tigo in Mexico and I really liked it. So. I think I'm going to go with it. Now I'm going to start my morning walk and I'll try to bring you along. Of course, I won't be able to record them putting the sim into this phone for obvious reasons, like they'll have my phone, but I will try to give you some intel at the storefront and afterwards. So I hope this is helpful. You guys, give me a like, give me a share, ask me questions if there's something else that this doesn't cover that you're curious about. So I've arrived at the Tigo store and now I'm going to go inside and try to get some in prepaid plan with that a home. So that was really quick and painless here at the Tigo store. Don't forget your passport. And I have my SIM card because it has my phone number and I have to go to Hoxo to add a packet or rather a plan for my internet data. The SIM chip comes with two gigs already and three days of talking. So it gives you a head start while you get it done, but Oxo is just down the street, so I'm gonna try to do it now. I was gonna shoot this all in one day. That's not possible because recharges aren't available at the moment for Tigo. This isn't uncommon. I have had this experience with just about every mobile carrier in Latin America in the past. No big deal, and probably even Tigo while I was in Mexico, though I don't recall. <laughs> and make this more interesting, I went and recharged my old Claro chip also. And there's a cheat sheet, but it's really easy. You can do it verbally like I do. At any rate, um, now I can do a comparison and see if there really is a difference between Tigo and Claro. As you may or may not notice from the video qualities, I have more than one phone. One has a much better camera than the other. <laughs> but at any rate, I now have a Claro chip and a Tigo chip, and both of them are charged. So I'm going to do some comparisons on my long travel day through the country and see if there really is much of a difference between coverage between the two companies. So I hope you enjoyed this experiment and I'll try to give you a little more intel about recharging a phone when I get to my me... <laughs> All right, mad little silliness. When I get to my next town, I will uh, try to show you the process of recharging the phone. I just did it for the Claro phone, and you might notice that maybe the video is a little crappier. That's my burner phone. It's expendable. <laughs> I Uber ride to the terminal was 15 mil, and my bus ticket to Santa Marta was 92 mil. Well, the wait's almost over. I'm waiting to check my bag though before I board. Because there isn't going to be enough room for everything in my seat. 
and I know the overhead bin is extremely small. This bus actually has air conditioning, which is going to be really nice because of the low altitude and the, well, humid and not so comfortable conditions for a hillbilly. <laughs> Ready to relax. And away we go on the way to Santa Marta. So I made it to my new digs here in Santa Marta. And there's even a swimming pool. But it's really shallow. So if you try to jump in from up here, you might make it into jackass or you might just get paralyzed. Well, I've made it here to San Marta, as you can see from the sign, support, there's some cargo containers out there in distance, and yeah, this ain't the beach, this is deeper right here, but there are beaches available, I've been warned the water's not so pristine, and that eating fish on the beach is a great way to get cholera if you have not been vaccinated, so you've been warned. Right, so recharging your phone is super easy. I was having so much fun, I got carried away and forgot to shoot video. I went to the little super place where you can place bets and do all kind of crazy stuff here in Santa Marta. There aren't as many signs making it obvious. And it's so expensive here. There are a lot of mom and pop Tianas who always have signs up that say Tico, Claro, Movie Star, Sarah, whatever you recharge there. This is the cheat note you can do it verbally quite easy it's really easy recarga so check it out it's a hell of a lot cheaper than using uh your american plan <laughs> that you think is so cheap at five or ten dollars a day that's a joke i spent oh uh, let's see seven dollars and fifty cent for a whole month so you can't even get that for a day using your silly uh, Verizon or AT&T and hey, they're really slow. I get a lot faster, a lot more bandwidth and a hell of a lot cheaper when you consider it for the month. It costs you between $150 and $300 a month extra if you're traveling the way I do, you know, by the month. So, hey, $7.50 per month or more than $100, pretty easy bet. So do what you please. You got the info. Oh yeah! One more important point. I have Tigo and Claro, and I've been doing an experiment. As I rode from Bugara Manga all the way to Santa Marta on the coast. And I found that in some places Tigo really is better, but in others, I got a signal of Claro and didn't get one with Tigo. So I'm going to continue this experiment all the way to the Ecuadorian border to see which is the better deal and which one might be more economical. Let me say it at this point, you can't go wrong with Claro or Tigo. And in the past, I've been really happy with even Movie Star and it's economical. So stay tuned as I continue this. And if you have another brand like Woom or Boom or whatever, you know, Movie Star Sun, hey, let me know. Or send me a donation and I'll be happy to buy one more SIM chip. I have a phone that will hold multiple SIM chips so I can do uh, further experiments if you guys are interested. It's up to you.